Happy Tuesday, you lovely lot. It is Tuesday the 7th of November and you are joining us on our wonderful family holiday. We have had six nights on Pop Century, which was mega. We have had four nights. I feel like three, two, one, Ted Rogers. <laughs> oh, blimey, that was a cool back. And I could never do that. Uh, three people got that. Um, we had four, <laughs> four nights on the Disney Wish. <laughs> Three, two, one. What a weird show that was. Whoa, fever dream. Um, <laughs> four nights on the Disney Wish, <laughs> which was awesome. Pop from the first day, we had a bit of a wobble. After that, loved it. We'd definitely go on another cruise. And you are joining us for <laughs> our last day, our last full day. What is going on? <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. <laughs> joining us for our last full day on. Um, where are we? Saratoga Springs. Oh my God. <laughs> um, ordinarily. <laughs> ordinarily, I'd be like sad going home. I am sad going home. But um, first of all, you gotta go home so you can come back again. And coming back is like way better than going home. <laughs> and um, we're all going back to cool stuff. Daisy loves her job and her crew. So going back after a trip where you're probably missing your gang a bit, aren't you Daisy? Yeah, a little bit. Um, Luke is going back to a job that he loves. Hello. Get my company car. Get your company car and we've got a new race car to try out, oh, yeah. which is really exciting. I had a dream about that last night. <laughs> I had some weird dreams last night. And uh, Tracy and I, <clears throat> are going back to our business, uh, which we need to do some odds and sods with, and some other sort of vlogging related stuff as well. And because beforehand we've had like um, a really big guest house, ordinarily we're going back to a few issues, like when we're away, stuff could have happened. And we're not going back to that anymore, which is really nice. How does that feel, Trace? <laughs> um, so the plan for today is, uh, uh, first of all, it's another beautiful day on our beautiful balcony. Um, the plan for today is we're heading back to Magic Kingdom for more magic. Uh, we got some Tron um, virtual queues booked. I really want to do Haunted Mansion and People Mover and Carousel of Progress. That's what I really want to do and soak in some feels. And then I think we're going to hop back because it, actually it's like just got nine o'clock. Then we're going to come back. Might do a bit of pool, might do a bit of Disney Sprongs and then heading back to Epcot. Do a few rides and we're having dinner at Viennapoli, which we've, uh, the, me and the kids have eaten that before, but Tracy has not. So it's gonna be really, really exciting. And we're gonna take you lovely lot along with us. Getting on Donald Daisy. Not a bad bus experience this morning. Turns up, uh, had to wait about two or three minutes for the bus. Got on, it was busy, had to stand up. Um, I'm surprised how busy it was because the park opened. What time did the park open this morning? Nine. Nine. Uh, nine for the public. Eight thirty. Oh uh, no, seven. No, eight. So open to eight. Sorry, today. It's nine yesterday. Eight. Eight o'clock for public and uh, seven thirty for resort guests. So we're, we're hitting it a little bit later. Yeah. So we'll see how that pans out. I definitely prefer the feeling of hitting it a little bit later. Like there's less anxiety and it's like a less. It's less hectic. So we're walking in now, it's quarter to nine, don't know what they're doing. Um, and it's a nice temperature as well, it's like not too hot at the moment, but I have bought my hat because I've identified I might be losing a bit of uh, <laughs> a bit of grass on the pitch and the back of my head. Heading in, doesn't seem too bad, first impressions. Love the Christmas Mini and Mickey. Have a lovely day. Right, and we're in. I've never seen so much traffic down Main Street. It's gridlock. Oh. I love the Christmas decorations. So our Tron time's been called, so me and Coffee Boy over there, 
we'll be going to do Tron. Daisy and Tracy aren't up for it. But this area here is where we had our preferred viewing for the um, fireworks dessert party yesterday. So it's not actually, it's not actually a very big area. But they certainly crammed us in there, but that was a really good experience. Right, heading into Tron. Um, this is this is a better ride at night, isn't it? For like, especially all the feels. It is brilliant anyway. Yeah, it's kind of got like the, um, it reminds me a little bit of Yas Marina, the Formula One track. Yeah. It's got like that sort of look to it. And um, at night time, it does, it does yeah. light up very nicely. So I think as a vibe, I agree. That, yeah, it's really cool. It's so cool. This is one of, I think this is one of the most impressive like reveals ever. It's so, it, it feels like you're in a cartoon. It doesn't no, feel it real. It feels like you're in a cartoon. No, no, it feels like you're in a cartoon. No, it feels like I'm in real life, <laughs> you're in a cartoon like Roger Rabbit. <laughs> We're nearly at the front of the line. Before you go on the line, um, there are lockers, so you just need to put your bags and bits and pieces in there as well. Tap it with your magic band. Don't forget your number. It's Ron Dunn, that's mega, isn't it? Yeah, great ride. It's really smooth. I, I really like the seating position. You can really lean into it. Yeah, you feel like you're actually riding a motorbike or a Tron bike. Um, and although that's, um, we got the virtual queue, so this morning we ordered that. It's not a lightning lane, so that was still on and off in 60 minutes. So don't expect to jump the queue just because you've got a virtual uh, yeah, don't, line. Yeah, don't expect that. <laughs> don't expect it. Idiot. Right, and look, here we go. Awesome ride. Because the ride vehicle is kind of unique, and you're not sure if you're gonna like it just before you get into the main queue. There is like a practice bike you can get on. <laughs> it's quite difficult to get off. Yeah, it's got stabilizers on it so you don't fall <laughs> yeah, over. Don't listen to me. Right, so here's the Tron shop. This is this display's weird. I can't tell what's actually in there and what's like what is toy. Well, if you come round. So oh yeah, I can see now, yeah, I knew that. Do you think Tron's a current thing? No. Like if you were a 12 year old would you want a tron toy um i don't know man the toy does look cool but yeah they brought out like the new tron film in recent years didn't they or more recent than yeah originals, but i didn't watch it i don't know many people that did i don't think it was a bad film it's great ride great ride yeah right so, very yeah. interesting let's go and find the girls tomorrowland speedway what a fun ride the 19th coming through there. <laughs> Where is the 27th? <laughs> Where is he? If he comes round on this lap, he could finish 20th in the championship. That would be a massive result for Luke Fuller. As reg you know, regular viewers will know, our sort of success to Disney trips has always been asking the kids what they want to do. And it kind of gets you off the hook as well, because at the end of the holiday, if they're like, well, we didn't do that, and we didn't do that, you can always go, well, we did ask you what you wanted to do and where you wanted to go. So in the spirit of that, um, Daisy's not feeling 100%, she's a little bit tired, so she's um, popped back to the resort, so she's gonna hang by the pool for a little bit. Luke just wants to do people mover and then head back to the pool. And uh, I think we might pop over to Disney Springs for lunch. So we're gonna head on people mover now. Oh, look at that, just as I said it, it's coming round. People Mover really is kind of a must do for us. It's just really chilled, nice sit down, and a pleasurable journey. Get a good view as well. If you are coming to the parks, these strollers here you can rent. Obviously people do bring their own strollers, uh, and they do double ones. Do they still do double strollers? Yeah, Luke probably spent you're in the, your stroller, your Disney stroller, slightly too old, weren't you? Yeah, so probably like the last trip before we started vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, he was in the stroller, uh, probably up until about six, I would have thought. You've got to be efficient with your energy. <laughs> so Luke's 23 now. We're off on the people mover. Uh, that's the Astro Orbis right there. You know, you can pretty much see what it does. But what's really cool about it is it's really high up and you get a great view of the park from there. <laughs> and we're just having a nice whiz around the park. Woo! 
like a lot of the visionary ideas throughout Walt Disney World. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. So the plan now is head over to Adventureland, hopefully find some cheeseburger egg rolls. Luke's never tried them. And then we're going to head back to the resort and hopefully grab some sandwiches from the quick surf there and hang out by the pool. We were going to pop over to Disney Springs, but I think it might be a little bit too rushed and we don't want to rush, do we? No! Right, we need egg rolls. <laughs> right, we're in the queue for spring rolls. They must be good. It's a bit of a line. You find us on a wall. I've never had one. So these are the cheeseburger ones. They come with a dip, and these are the pepperoni ones. They also come with a dip. For both of those, that was $19. They're gonna be, I think they're gonna be really hot. Yeah, they are quite a good size, yeah. And I think, you know. Right, Luke's never had them. They're great, aren't they? Oh wow. I'm gonna try the pepperoni one. Go on then. How are they? What does it taste like? Pepperoni pizza. Oh, awesome. Tried both. I've never had the pepperoni ones before. In my opinion, cheeseburger for the win. Cheeseburger for the win, agreed. Pepperoni ones weren't ready for me. They weren't bad. If there was a stand that was just selling the pepperoni ones without the cheeseburger ones, short line. I think cheeseburger is carrying the uh, spring roll cart. I think but I'd still get involved. Would ya? I'm all about wackyspringroll.com. <laughs> it's one o'clock. The park feels, doesn't feel too hectic, but um, we're heading back to resort and the weather is absolutely stunning. For the whole trip, I think we've just had two days where we've just had a little bit of rain for like a really short amount of time but the weather for the whole two weeks has just been absolutely glorious you know still warm enough for the pool still warm enough to make well make sure you got your sunscreen on it's been glorious it does feel really weird having like the christmas music when it's so warm it's got to be the hottest day we've had it's warm right it's hot, hot. Right, that's our last day on Magic Kingdom. Be back here <laughs> um, for a little while. We've just queued up for another photo pass. Now, there will be times that you don't want to queue up for a photo pass, but do it because the pictures are great and it is a bit of a, it can be a bit of a ball ache queuing up for a picture. And there'll always be one person that really wants to do it, one that doesn't. I'm and with the person that really wants to do it. And then a couple that don't really care. But just do it because then you get to look at them when you get home and you won't remember how much of a, an ag it was queuing up for them. So yeah, just take five minutes, get in a queue, get your pictures done. If you've got kids, send them to Bagsy the bus for you. Don't run if you're a grown up. It's too warm. Hello mate. Thoughts on Saratoga since we've been here? Uh, it's been fabulous. It's Very lovely, nice. isn't it? It's lovely. Um, only complaint would be the bus service, but it's the same with Old Key West. Um, but it's a lovely place to be. It's really chilled, isn't it? It's really chilled, it's nice. Yeah, yeah. it really is. It is really lovely. A very grown up resort. Like, But the pools areas are really fun. So we're gonna head to the quick serve and get some lunch. So this is like the main pool. Good to see there's like Disney games going on. There's a slide Look there and slide. <laughs> Look at it. And yeah, there's like activities. Lots of screaming and shouting, which is what you want from a family pool really. When Luke came here, when the first time him and his mate used to block that slide, didn't you? Right, we're at the artist palette. So Tracy's got a beer. Quick Chase is coming out the top. We've got a big packet of crisps. We've got, Luke's got a turkey sandwich. Daisy and I have gone for these Italian sandwiches. They're pretty big and hefty. We've got two Coke Zeros and Tracy's ordered a tuna salad that's being made. Right, any guesses how much for what's on the table? Oh no, <laughs> really? Come on. $70. Right, $70 from Daisy. It can't be. Could be. $30. $30 from Luke. $70. 
<laughs> I did check the receipt. All right, Tracy salad uh, sandwich is sent up. All looks good. Have you tried yours, days? How is it? Good. Yeah, it does all look good and fresh. Luke's um, just put every sauce he can on it. Hi. Hi. You're a nice day. It's been lovely, actually. It's been very chilled. Yeah, it's really nice. The Magic Kingdom is busy and hectic. We chose to do it in a chilled way. <laughs> Wasn't it? We didn't do very much, but we enjoyed the atmosphere of the park as well. It is just nice getting into the parks, soaking it in a little bit. We've got a spa here called Senses. How was your lunch? It was quite nice actually. Yeah, it, was, it was just what I wanted. I wanted a tuna sandwich, tuna salad sandwich, and that's what I got. It was toasted. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, got brought to your table. Um, and yeah, waiter service, made to order. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. It was a big portion again, which I wasn't expecting. I was yeah. trying to go for a lighter option, and I ended up getting the biggest portion of everything. <laughs> I did share. Yeah, we, we all had a bit. Uh, sandwiches, okay. Like, I know you're on Disney, but $75. Four, uh, four, sandwiches. four sandwiches, two cokes and a beer and a packet of crisps was a little bit, even uh, me, like definitely pro Disney in every way, but I was just like, whoa, definitely check the uh, receipt out after that one. Um, this is the DVC preview center. So we are DVC members and yeah, we really love it. And if you are coming to Disney, that's where they'll have mock-ups of some of the rooms or maybe yeah. all of the rooms is it some of them or all of them i can't remember i probably don't have some of the newer ones but it had up to um copper creek i think yeah yeah so really you know i think sorry to correct that. i think they did have the riviera rooms there in the preview center when we came did they before. i think so check i'll put the link to our vlog where we came and did a little bit of tour of it before we signed up for dvd uh, our april trip last year dvc dvc what did i say dvd <laughs> That's a throwback. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the link down below. Yeah, but yeah, this is where they bring you, and um, yeah, just quick, you know, we kept going backwards and forwards on it, and uh, it just helped you decide if, if it's something you want to do or not. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get some really clever B roll there, <laughs> fell over. We don't do B roll. Oh, did it again. <laughs> right. I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's about half past two. We're gonna have a couple of hours by the pool before heading over to Epcot. But I know I've been boring on about this. The location of Saratoga and like being so close to Disney Springs is so lovely. And the pool's just here. So yeah, we're in Congress Park. It's a really good spot. We'd we'll definitely stay here again. But I think it is like the fourth stop on the bus stop, which isn't ideal. <gasps> Could that be Michael on the ferry? Is it Michael? Can you imagine if it was Michael? It wasn't Michael. It's ten past five. It's going to be our last evening. And there's always something... There's always like a feeling about the last evening of a holiday um, but for the first time for us in a long time we're not going back to lots of little bits of ag you know the children are very happy and happy to go back and it's not like oh, I don't want to go home there's none of that and you know we are very lucky we will be back um, but this spot at Saratoga I know I said it's not overly Disney and it isn't like the theming isn't slap you around the chops Disney but it's bloody nice I mean it's very very special I can't wait to come back if I'm you know if we can come back and the spot that we're at is just absolutely lovely and we've had a really cracking holiday I mean it's been it's been really special as I said we're all really busy at the moment at home Daisy works different hours to Luke and you know they're both building their lives but I think my favorite thing is seeing them just reconnect and just <laughs> dicking about in the pool oh. because uh you know, 
They're everything. Bet that's not Michael. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Caught me by surprise. Yeah, seeing them, two little Muppets, jumping around over pool noodles was just awesome. And I'm so lucky that they, you know, both Tracy and I are so lucky that they still want to come on holiday with us, which is, we are blessed. Anyway, yeah, it's been, it's been a really lovely time to reconnect and not reconnect, but just hang out and just catch up. And you know, everyone's got, oi oi, is that Michael? No, it's a lady. Um, yeah, it's just been lovely to see them too, because they're like best mates, which is, you know, it's lovely. Right, <laughs> for me getting on maudlin, I'm a, not maudlin, but just, I'm very, I'm a lucky man. Um, so tonight we're going to head out to Epcot. We're going to have dinner at Via Napoli. I'm going to go and fill my mugs up now. Right, getting on the bus. It's 20 to 7 and we are heading into Epcot for the last night of our holiday. Forever. Not forever. What? When are we coming back? One day. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and an undisclosed date. An undisclosed date. Insert date here. Uh, we're going to be an athlete. You've eaten here before, haven't you? I have. Um, it's just a wonderful delight on the senses. There's an incredible mise en scène to the place. Um, the yeah, looking forward to it. The pizza's great here, right? The pizza is great here. They, they also do a Bianco base. Um, and Mum's never been because it was on the Forbidden Trip where Mum was banned. <laughs> she was on the no fly list for a little while. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it, uh, the table's booked for just after seven o'clock, so we're gonna wander in. Hiya. Thank you. Ah, oh, the ball is all lit up. How fantastic does, does that look? I think all these new lights are new. We've not seen them before. Well, the new lights are new. The new lights are new. <laughs> these new lights are new. Um, but they look really, really cool. They look like lightsabers, actually. They do. This is very atmospheric walking down here. Um, although we've been here a few times, I don't think I've been. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you walk around this bit in the daytime to get to the Moana Journey of Water bit. But this is lovely. It's very different at night. Yeah, the music's lovely, the vibes are good. But if you just plonk me. Oh, this brings us out by Nemo. But if you sort of plonk me down here, like blindfolded, and said, Where are you? I'd be like, I don't know. It's sort of like Pandora vibes. It's lovely. If you have got a restaurant booked around World Showcase, leave quite a, you know, leave more time than you need. We've got about four minutes before our reservation starts, and I think Italy is about as far away as it could have been. It feels like it's getting further away. Fortunately, it is not. Super busy here tonight. I'm definitely getting, we're definitely getting our heart rate up, Trace. Yeah, we're working off the pizza before we had it. Yeah, yeah, we're preloading our calories tonight. And there's some live music tonight. Who is this, Trace? Who is this playing? It's familiar. Um, I'll find out in a bit, but there's a function on Eat to the Beat. I wish we could stop. What a setup. Sounds awesome. It's very good vibes here tonight. Everybody's dancing around. It's awesome. I think they're a cover band, but sounding awesome and everyone's loving it. And we've made it with seconds to spare. So the restaurant we're eating at tonight is called Via Napoli. They specialise in pizza. Checked in, told to sit in the lobby, sat down, Tracy got called. We're in, and this is Via Napoli. Yeah, we ate in here a few years ago, and as I remember, the pizza was absolutely fantastic. Buzzing in here tonight, smells lovely. We've got Parmesan and Mickey Flakes brought out. Our server is lovely, we've all ordered. It was a little bit confusing, but we're all over it now. <laughs> Right, food's come out nice and quick. Daisy, are they arancini? Are they fry, were they rice balls? Nice, they look good. You, there was no hesitation for you, was it? You were having them. 
Tracy, that's the nicest. Is it a Caprese? Yeah, it's just Charles Lemon, Charles Lemon salad. Yeah, that's it's very pretty. It looks lovely. And Luke and I are going to share some calamari. The pizzas are out. Get your pizza out. Get your pizza out. They look amazing. Everybody happy? Yeah. The pizzas are outstanding. Daisy's already put her foot down, not sharing. Um, I think they import the water and flour. I think it's like a whole traditional thing here. Yeah, I think I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, that special water, special flour. Special tomatoes for the tomato sauce. It's great, right? Good, good, really good. So these are the pizza ovens up here and they're all wood fired. So I'm not sure if you can see in there. So they've all got like actual wood in there burning, obviously wood fired, sorry. And uh, yeah, all funny faces. That was good. Like really, really good. That was, oh sorry, it's coming up past eight. <laughs> That was, let me flip my camera around so I can see my preview. That was one of the meals we've had this holiday and it was very, very nice. Um, the pizza was outstanding. Uh, we've got a local pizza place near us that we absolutely love to bits and we stand by it, don't we Keith? We swear by it. It's like we've got a, like a pizza chain and they've got about three or four venues and the pizza is sourdough pizza and it's incredible. However, being athletes is, is better than it. It's, and that's, that is like, that's really saying something. Yeah. But that pizza in there was off the charts. It was outrageous. It was contagious. When we sat down, because originally we were actually going to go for Olivia's tonight and I was like, I don't know, I just wanted one more hit of Epcot and I know we've been here more than the other parks this holiday anyway, but I really wanted one last evening. And for whatever reason, B and Natalie was like in my head. And when, when we sat down and I saw like the menu and I saw like the price actually, because I remember thinking, oh, this is more expensive than I had in my head. I did have a, a momentary panic uh, and it was quite busy when we got in there, but by the time we finished, it was, it was pretty quiet. It was confusing because what I like, especially, especially, okay, especially when you go somewhere like that, I want to see, you know, a barbecue chicken, a vegetarian one, a meat one. But there was that was just like it was it was a little bit com it wasn't overly complicated, but there was like two or three options and then you could add the toppings, but the toppings was were different prices for different sizes. So it doesn't really matter. The food was in like it, it, it was, was amazing. It Best was pizza I've ever had. Best pizza I've ever had. I'm kind of inclined to agree. It was that good. Um, I will be. I'll be thinking about that pizza until I'm here again. Ah, yeah. It's gonna be a long, long time. It's gonna be. Sh so you join us in the Italian Riviera. We got some uh, Gucci, <laughs> Gucci bags. I'm glad Adam's not with us. <laughs> I think they encouraged me to buy one. Yeah, they're really cool. Via yeah. Napoli, first time there. Yeah, it was really good. You didn't even want a pizza, did you? No, I wasn't really sort of like feeling the menu because I wasn't really sure I wanted something that big to eat. But yeah, it was lovely. It's good, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. It just, yeah, the flavours. Yeah, they're doing a good job. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Uh, not sure what the plan is. We're letting the kids decide. See how that pans out. Tribute band are out again. I love this guitar solo. They are great. Oh, I love Prince. Obviously, I know this isn't Prince. We're heading into the Japanese pavilion, which is without a doubt our most favorite shop in World Showcase, because it is just so mentally bizarre. Brace yourselves, things are about to get a bit weird. It's not the first time I've been here. You've seen this all before, but you know, here we go. You know, cat with a donut, praying otter, <laughs> cat stacks. <laughs> Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> you got a soy sauce Funko Pop? <laughs> what do you got there, mate? Hi. 
a little golf ball on a spring. No one really knows what this is for. It's first discovered in 1806. You're gonna break that. By Derek Golf Ball. <laughs> so you got all sorts of like massages. Boink. <laughs> oh, this this stuff's great. Great gats, dude. Are they oven gloves? What, what are they? Shiba Inus. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for pizza. <laughs> what is it? Babyish. Babyish. I want to have babyish. Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a look at the picture? Yeah, it's got baby. It's so on cute. It. It's really right, so this is like, I think they do this every time they open an oyster to see if there's a pearl in it. Fingers crossed. Yeah. That is a nice that's, shirt. That's a cute shirt. There's no jokes here. That's just a nice shirt. Yeah, there's, uh, I think you've actually got this shirt, haven't you? You got a shirt like I've that? Got a similar shirt. Yeah. yeah. You join me here at the cool belt area. <laughs> that is uh, that's a statement belt. Actually, I do actually quite like that one. Oh, yeah. I've got oh. to say that's a belter. <laughs> oh, you really, you didn't style that out. Milady. <laughs> Milady. Tracy's in the shoelace area. Nice. They're a bit glam, aren't they? They are very glam. Oh look, that that is a statement cap, isn't it? <laughs> that is like oh no. I do actually kind of like these. These are twenty four ninety nine. I like that one. Which one? That sushi master. I like the ramen party one. <laughs> oh dear. Tommy <laughs> Shelby. Oh no. <laughs> Lots of gangsters in Birmingham. <laughs> oh, no. That is a strong hat. Thank you, mate. I bought it myself. <laughs> so this is a Buddha board, and you just like paint stuff. We don't want Luke to see this for obvious reasons. So you just paint on it, and then it comes back later on. So I did these lines here to see what it was doing. So I don't think I used enough water. Yeah, but it's really, really cool. But again, we need to get out of it before Luke twigs on what this is. You got lots of really interesting Japanese sweets. We've had, we've. <laughs> have you bought something? Oh, Luke never buys anything. What have you bought? <laughs> what does it mean? It means Nippon, Japan. It means what? Nippon. What does that mean? Japan. Oh, cool. I like it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I just finds it funny because I never buy stuff. You never buy stuff. That's why I was laughing. It's just the way you're so proud of it. You look very proud of yourself. I did, because it was, it was a really good value for money. How much was it? Six dollars. Nice. Yeah. If you're coming to World Showcase, you've got to come here. It's the best shop. And then as you exit the shop, there's like a little Japan exhibition, which is really cool. And wacky, as you might expect. Salary man. Salary man. <laughs> what is salary man? Salary man or Hiro Tanaka is yeah. Long days. It's, so I think it's just like that's their term for like office pay. Yeah. yeah. Long days. It's Luke's <laughs> still reading that. No one has ever written it. No one has ever written it. Oh, that's a The fireworks start in 10 minutes, so we're going to brave the traffic uh, of people walking out all at the same time and hang around and watch them if we can get a good spot. Um, it doesn't feel overly busy tonight, which is nice. However, I appreciate most people will be over in the firework area. Up here is Teppanaki, Teppanido, which is like um, Teppanaki, where they all <laughs> where they all flip the food around. We need to eat there again, yes, um, because uh, <laughs> we've had, we've had some fun in there. <laughs> Bye, kids. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye. I think we're going to watch from Japan. There's a few things obscuring, but the crowd levels are really pleasant. So we're just gonna 
park our bums on this fence around this very tranquil garden. It's one of those, it's a big version of that. Yeah. What are they called? I don't know what they're called. Reiki stone gardens. That's the like the stress on them. Yeah. Oh, Tracy's wristband. Not wristband, what's it called? Magic band. <laughs> These are amazing. and there's no one around. This is so lovely. Amazing. I think like everything's about expectation settings. We weren't expecting to do the fireworks tonight because we, you know, we've seen this one before. It wasn't on our agenda. The kids had gone back. We were just in this area. There wasn't a lot of people around. We thought the uh, pergola was going to be in the way. It wasn't. It, that's. I, I, Good show. I think that's one of my favourite fireworks experiences at Disney. Quite an underrated show. I know a lot of people are a bit oh, it's got Bremen's and Frank's and it's you know, it, it, it's just really, really good fireworks. It's amazing. Great music. Yeah. Great location. And there is nobody about. I don't know if this is not a popular area to watch it or if the park's quiet, but that was a winner. I love this tree. It's a good tree. It is a good tree. <laughs> in Epcot for the last time this trip. It was a good yeah. night, wasn't it? It was a really nice way to spend our last night, actually. And again, unexpectedly same for the fireworks, just with the cherry on the cake, really. Yeah, right, let's get the bus back, but the ball is looking glorious. There's nothing quite as aggressive <laughs> as the lights going on on a Disney bus. <laughs> I guess the stop. It's, it's just like, oh. so, it's so intense. And the thing is, because, like, Half of the bus are under five, so they're all curled up on mum's laps or dad's laps. And when they when they're awakened by this blinding light, it looks they look like little moles yeah. poking their heads up <laughs> the out of the earth. Kids, bless them, they were so tired, they got so confused. <laughs> yeah. the lights went Wandering off. <laughs> off the buses with like wedgies and dragon teddies behind them. It was pretty cute though. Um, it's five past ten. It's November. There are still people in the pool. This weather's been amazing this trip. It's warm tonight. I mean, I've got this on, but I kind of don't really need it. Yeah, I didn't I just need... had it on for the fact that the um, aircon would have been in the bus more than anything else. But yeah. Yeah, it's really lovely. Yeah, we've really, really lucked out with the weather on this trip.
Right, so tomorrow we're all like getting ready to go back because tomorrow's our flight. Mm. Boo hoo. Um, however, tonight's dinner was incredible. Uh, I'm, I'm not joking, we are pizza snobs. We are lucky enough to have what, some of the most incredible pizza close by to us. That pizza tonight edged it. Um, if you are a pizza aficionado, um, have a look at Via Napoli because I think they they either import the tomatoes or the special flour or the special water, wood-fired ovens. It was absolutely incredible. The service was great. Best pizza I've had. It's definitely as good as our Noel boys who are local to us. Um, so that meal was, we had three starters, four pizzas, um, three soft drinks and Tracy's wine. We get a DVC discount, which was 15% on that one. So the total bill came in at uh, uh, um, 168 without the tip, and we left the tip too. Um, so not cheap pizza, uh, including tip, which was just under, the whole thing came in at just under $200. So it's not cheap, but you are on Disney property. It was very, very good food. Right, thank you so much following for following along with us today. We've had a awesome day. Um, so tomorrow we'll be getting some bits and pieces ready and yeah, cannot wait. So no, it's not that we can't wait. <laughs> We've got a lot going on. The reason I'm a bit distracted is because I've got this behind me. Uh, hello. Welcome to my Mojo Dojo Casa house. <laughs> right. Stay safe, be kind, look, look after, after one, one another. Cheers. <laughs>